Well, well, not yet, but oh, I did. Okay. I did. I did put a few uh, rod sizes on on this uh, rack. Yeah, because here. here's and the I other thing about hair extensions is when when we wrap when we wrap a perm on a on a human, you know, on a normal person. We we just choose the size of the rod that we want, depending on the size of the curl that they want. And it's pretty straightforward when it comes to perming hair extensions, though, you have to actually go. What is it, Bernard, like one to two rod sizes smaller than what you actually want, because the extensions have been processed and already been pre straightened out and pre colored from the manufacturer. So they've already gone through such a heavy pro uh, chemical processing to begin with. And well, you got to break through that to reform the size that, that you want. I think that that's because most people don't do good perms. I don't think, uh, I don't think it's necessary. The thing that I do, most curly hair is not uniformly curly and people don't realize that. So the biggest mistake people make when they perm hair, and this might just cover that indirectly, but the biggest mistake people make is they use the same perm rod on the whole head. They're like, I don't want to go too curly. So they use a big uh, peach or brown rod like this. And I will generally use two or three different rod sizes to just change up the curl. And it'll all pull together, but it looks a lot more natural. So I think that the problem, the reason why some people are doing the rod size smaller is they're not cleaning the hair well before. And they're not uh, leaving the perm solution on the right amount of time. And they're not neutralizing well. If you're doing everything correctly, I don't find you have to change the size of the rod at all.